Okay, well this morning I drove from Van Horn all the way over here and I hit, uh, let's see what I hit, I think it was, no, not that one, I went through there, I know I, I found, I claimed three more cities in Texas this morning and it did not record, shock, shock. Sometimes my computer hates me. <laughs> uh, let's see, long view. It's eight o'clock at night now, and I probably will not be driving a long drive. I'm starting to get tired. Uh, let's see what we got. Oh, there we got a. Okay, that that's what we'll do. We got a corn or cotton harvester, and we are going to be getting another one of our towns claimed. This is going to be a, quite the load. We've got a okay articulated trailer so it's going to have two sections. This will be an interesting one. Um, let's see. I should have everything that I need for this. Okay, we're going to take it. Yeah, this will be interesting. Okay, let's pick up the trailer. No, we only got three and a half hours till we need to be asleep. Everybody had a great day today. Drive number two for me in the game. I really wish I could have uploaded that last playthrough. It was a really long drive. It was a, probably an hour long video. Nothing more frustrating than going from my play to jump over to my editing software to pull the footage and have no footage to pull. Funny thing is when I started playing the record came up saying that full session is on for record. So for some reason it shut off on me. Yesterday was a really good day. I had taken, uh, I had found a, I think I talked about it in one of the last videos, uh, that I had found a John Deere self propelled uh, five horse lawnmower. Whoops, I do want to go this way. At the dump, and the guy that works there was just saying that the guy that dumped it was just having issues with the carburetor. At least he thought it was just a carburetor. So I took it home and bought a new carburetor, which the carburetor was like thirteen dollars, thirteen ninety-five or something like that. And then I needed a tool to check the the gaps on the rocker arms, which they were off. And there was a little spring that was supposed to be connected on the throttle assemblies that was not connected. So, at the first time around, I tried getting it going. I cleaned the carburetor really good, and it still didn't, didn't work. Um, so I ordered the new carburetor, put that in, readjusted the rocker arms, put that spring on, and yesterday started it right up. 
and it is a beast. <laughs> it is a awesome lawnmower. He had thrown away the the bag and everything. It had all the accessories with the with the mower sitting at the dump. So I got it up and running. And one thing I really love about it is when you have the bag on it, it like pull sucks everything up. I mean, it sucked up all the leaves and the sticks and everything and just packed them in that bag. My other mower, you know, it gets to a certain point with the with the bag and it doesn't like pull anything anymore. It doesn't have a super strong suction like this one does. So that was really cool. Okay, where is this trailer at? Oh, that's it right there. Um, but yeah, so I've got a runs like brand new and it is a John Deere 14 SB 5 speed 5 horsepower self propelled mower <laughs> I took and ran it and I put it in the 5th gear and you literally have to run behind it as it's mowing it's so fast it would make a good motor for like a small go-kart I think it's a it's the Kawasaki engine. Well, this is gonna be interesting to get it around this corner. That's a low low boy. That was really cool. And I went to the dump today because there was another mower there when I was th at the dump on Saturday, and I was gonna go pick the one that that was dropped, but somebody already picked it up to try to fix it, which stinks. I was hoping I was gonna be able to get that one too, but I wasn't able to pick it up because I had a already had a truckload of planks that I used to build another little deck behind the house. Interesting delivery. Okay, let's continue on our way. Oh, 
where they all come from. There was no cars and all of a sudden now there's like a ton of them. they had to stop at the very beginning of the yellow light.
dock that I put on by the big rock, that used to always be a really good spot for catching big northerns. Back when my grandma, you know, was fishing off there. Yeah, not anymore. The weeds this year are super thick for some reason. Makes it you have to fish with a bobber, and I'm not a bobber fisherman. I don't like it. I prefer fishing off the bottom. Sinker, size six hook, and a minnow leech, minnow or a leech, off the bottom. Or walleye. tired of ice water and both of my eyeballs are like all watered up making it really hard to see Slowed 
way down once you hit like 12 seconds left before you had to be sleeping. Six. This is going to be interesting. If it's going to make me like pass out behind the wheel where it's going to screen, it's going to go black or something. As long as I can get to the delivery beforehand. seconds, but it's definitely not playing out as seconds. as long as uh, this morning's episode was going to be. Like I said, I think my computer likes playing jokes on me. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Shoreside delivery, cotton bloom delivery. So, oh, so there's like side mission kind of things going on. Let's see, we've got 137 miles, 22 minutes. Yeah, this morning's was actually 58 minutes, and it was like 600 and some miles. 17 gallons. 150th job. Uh, high value cargo, 39. That's awesome. Okay, $7,000, 260 XP. Okay, that's where we're going to let off for today. Uh, we are up to $356,591. Uh, I'm going to, once we hit a little over 400000 I'm going to buy another trailer, or I'd buy another truck, and hire another employee, and get them set up, start making some money for us that way too. I wanted to wait till we got a little bit more money so we can kind of get a truck that's decked out for the new employee when we pick them. So that'll probably be in the next episode or two uh, that we'll be doing that. So. Okay, thank you so much for watching. I greatly appreciate it. I hope you have an amazing rest of your night, and I will talk to you in the comments.